Namaste. Hello. I'm going to go over the shoulder stand. I've already shown you in one of the other clips. I'm going to show you with props as well. Now some people can go straight up. I'm not one of those people. So when I say straight up, meaning keeping the back really straight. Remember, as long as you don't have any high blood pressure, uncontrolled high blood pressure, head or neck injuries, and any eye challenges like recent laser eye surgery or glaucoma, all right, because you're bringing blood to the brain. And if as long as the women are not menstruating very heavily, okay, if you can bring the legs overhead and come into halasana, which is the plow pose, notice that my back is not totally straight up the buttocks. This is the best that I can do. And then to bring the legs up, my shoulder stand without assistance comes into this position. And it's a great pose. Even if you, if you can get your body up this high, fine. You're putting pressure on the throat where the thyroid gland is. And your thyroid gland regulates metabolism. You can do variations from here. Okay, with the legs. Engaging your abs. You can bring both knees into the forehead. You can extend one leg up. Again, bring one leg here. You can even bring one leg over to the side. Keeping the body as erect as you can. Inhale, exhale. So I'm going to come out. Bring the legs overhead hands on the floor, using the abdominal muscles, keeping the head on the floor, using control as I lower my back to the floor. I'm still engaging the abs. Once the buttocks is on the floor, you can flex your feet using your transverse abdominal muscles and bring the legs down. So, to show you how to do it with props, maybe you have a blanket. I got this from some yoga equipment that's sold to help to bring prop the body. So, as long as you can bring your shoulders and on it and then bring the head on the floor. So my head is resting, the shoulders are elevated. All right, so you'll see the difference with the body as I inhale and push up. Now the back is much straighter. And then actually my pose is coming up into the shoulder stand is even straighter. So this is showing you what's happening with the body as far as having a prop and my neck is relaxed, I'm putting pressure in the throat where the thyroid gland is. Again from here I can come into the pose of variations with the legs, inhaling, exhaling. To come out of the pose, using the prop, resting the hands here, again using the abdominal muscles, slowly coming down, Head is still on the floor, buttocks is on the floor, flexing the feet and bringing the legs down. After this pose, we can do the fish pose, complementary pose. So here, you're pressing on your hands, that's one way, or you can put your hands under the buttocks, or you can hold on to the thighs, whatever's comfortable for you. Picking up your chest, bringing the head back, and bringing the top of the head on the floor. Now you're stretching your throat in the opposite direction. If you have asthma, this is a great pose. It opens up the apex, the tip of the lungs. Inhale, exhale. Inhale and exhale. Pick the head up and come back down. Those of you who have tight backs, I have some students in my class whose backs are really tight. So like this, you can use this prop or 
I don't have that in my classes. They have this. So I see some students do this. It really helps them. Putting it under the back and bringing the top of the head to the floor. So it helps to push the chest up. Because some people, again, their back is very, very tight. So remember, props can be your friend. If your body is in the way you'd like it to be, just have patience with it and work with it. Have a great day. Namaste.